The city of San Diego owning up to another water bill mistake. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Brian Schlonsky in for Steve Atkinson. This time, thousands of customers didn't get their bills for months. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis spoke with impacted customers and has the city's explanation. Amanda? Between 2,000 to 2,500 customers haven't gotten a water bill since February. While we were investigating this today, the city called for a news conference to talk about what's been going on. They blamed the delay on new equipment that was installed after the mayor called for every meter in the city to be reread earlier this year. The discovery that approximately 10,000 meters were either broken, damaged, or in need of replacement. So those meters were replaced during that process. And what we've learned since then, within the last 30 days, is those meters, in terms of the technology that was applied to those, did not fully translate into the billing system. Neighbors in this Del Cerro neighborhood tell me they're concerned because there hasn't been any communication over the past few months from the city. Several have made calls to the city but haven't been able to get any answers. I'm told mostly seniors live in this neighborhood, many with a limited income. Well, you worry about how big is it going to be when it gets here. <laughs> I mean, they've been going up. And, and we haven't gotten one for several months, so then you worry about, okay, how you, you've seen the programs on television, people who've been, appears terribly overcharged, and then you think, okay, what's my bill gonna look like when it finally gets here? Geyser recently invested money to make her property drought resistant and is hoping the problem will be fixed soon so she can monitor how much water they're using. The city says customers will be given the option of a payment plan and their water will not be turned off. They say they've been investigating this problem for about a month and they say they're committed to fixing their problem. They're going to reach out to customers via letter, email or a phone call if they have your number on file. Reporting live in Del Cerro, Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Sounds like a lot of communication still to be done. Thank you, Amanda.